UIT Lahore is a premier engineering institution of Pakistan and has the distinction of being one of the oldest engineering schools in Asia. Its history goes back to November 9, 1921 when Mughalpura Technical College was established in the northern part of Lahore along GT Road near Shalamar Gardens. These gardens were constructed by Emperor Shah Jahan in 1641-1642. The foundation stone of this college can still be seen on the right-hand pillar of the main block of UET Lahore. The first badge of 120 students were admitted to electrical engineering mechanical engineering and sciences in October 1923 under the leadership of the first principal captain Whitaker over the last 100 years UET Lahore professors under the guidance of their vice vice chancellors have produced professionals of the highest quality the college was renamed as Maclagan Engineering College when governor of punjab sir edward douglas maclagan opened the college on march 19 1924 in 1931 the college got affiliation with the university of the punjab after just after 5 years the uni- the college started its two degree programs in mechanical and electrical engineering in 1939 the college got the name of College of Engineering and Technology Lahore and the Department of Civil Engineering was also started at partition the college got the land from Sikh National College along with its three hostels D E and F these hostels were renamed as Ali Mardan Hall Tariq Hall and Khalid Hall now the this college also started the department of mining engineering in 1954 the college was renamed as government college of engineering and technology in 1956 mera na shamsher singh hai lahore maclagan engineering college jila si wo join kita aur mechanical side ch si meri on dina te civil electrical and mechanical tin line on di asan ਉਥੇ ਹਲੇ 2 ਸਾਲ ਪੜਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਪਾਰਟੀਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਇਨ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੀ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਲੱਕੀ ਤੇ ਈਸਟ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਰੇਲਵੇ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦਾ ਜਮਾਲਪੁਰ ਬਿਹਾਰ ਚ ਇੱਕ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਕਾਲਜ ਸੀ ਉਥੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਐਡਜਸਟ ਕਰਤਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਚਾ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਸੀ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਾ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਕਸ਼ਮੀਰ ਔਰ ਕਰਾਚੀ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਪਿਸ਼ਾਵਰ ਤੱਕ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਸੀ ਮੈਡੀਕਲ ਕਾਲਜ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਕਾਲਜ ਔਰ ਹੋਰ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕਾਲਜਸ ਸਨ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਲਚਰਲ ਲਾਈਫ ਸੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੀ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਅਤ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਚ ਹੀ ਸੀ The year 1961 marks the beginning of a new era. That's the time when it attained the status of a university and named as Western Pakistan University of Engineering and Technology. It started offering nine bachelor's degree programs. Uh, the first convocation was held on March 4, 1966. The same year it started offering PhD programs in electrical engineering. In 1971, it became as University of Engineering and Technology commonly known as UIT Lahore in 1971 masters in computer science program was offered the phenomenal increase in student enrollment in 1970s the university established an engineering colleges tax law in 1975 which later became an independent university in 19, 1998 as UIT tax law Mr Karam Ilahi Durani 61 UET served as the dean of electrical engineering and was a founder vice chancellor of university of engineering and technology taxla over current university has five campuses at lahore 
Faisalabad, Khalsa Kaku, Narwal, and Rachna Ujjwala. By 1980, the university offered a total of eight MSc programs. Master of Architecture was offered in 1990. By the end of the 20th century, the university was offering 12 master degree programs. During the first decade of the 21st century, the university offered 18 new postgraduate programs and initiated 12 new PhD programs. So far, 21 departments have awarded PhD degrees. For the last 42 years, the institution primarily remained a male-only institution. In 1962, the first female student took admission in the Department of Architecture. The first female engineering student was admitted in Electrical Engineering in 1968. Although the percentage of female students started rising slowly, but it was a steady increase since 1976. There was no female teacher until 1975, when Miss Shahida Ghani was appointed lecturer in CRP. The university appointed Dr. Saima Yasin as the first female engineering professor in 2021. At present, 24% of the student body and 27% teachers are women. During the past five years, on average, the university has produced 26 PhDs per year, including 31% females. The university has a student body of 13,108 and 795 full-time teachers, resulting in a decent student-to-teacher ratio of around 17 ratio one. At present, the university offers a full spectrum of 47 undergrad, 60 graduate programs, and 29 PhD degree programs in engineering, computing, natural and applied sciences, and business studies. Its graduates have moved on to become the world leaders in all walks of life. Among its alumni, one can find the most innovative, creative engineers, world-renowned professors, and researchers in the best universities of the world, uh, business leaders, top technocrats, bureaucrats, heads of multinational corporations, political leaders. University of Engineering Technology has a magnificent history of producing some of the country's most celebrated singers. The songs which came from UITians are not only inspirational even today, but show the tenacity and caliber of the talent coming out of our alma mater. To start off the list, the creative songs and sweet tunes produced became alike to a national anthem, uh, such as the one by the famous, the legendary, the one and only late Junaid Jamshed. How can we not talk about the melodious songs by Natan Shiraz, the ones that we can never seem to stop humming, the ones which got us through the four years at UAT, and the ones which are still revered by the whole new generation? <laughs> which sing about romance as well as include some powerful social commentary that echoes even across our own borders by our very own Jawad Ahmed Uth udaan ki sana hun tu jeena hai Uth udaan ki sana hun tu jeena hai bolya tu jag da andaata meri soni dardi ma The question now arises whether we have been better 
or worse than the comparable universities around the world? I believe that it is difficult to respond to this question with a resounding yes. The next question then is, where do we go from here? The future of the next generation of engineers, architects and planners depends on us. We should therefore aim to excel and catch up with the best in the world that would require hard work and vision. Develop expertise in various fields of cutting edge technologies to take lead. For that we need good governance, resources, knowledgeable advice. This is where alumni need to take their responsibilities seriously and get involved in a professional manner with knowledge, sound advice and their checkbooks. I would give you a few examples about the resources available to the top North American universities with which we aim to compete or aspire to compete. For example, Harvard University has an endowment of over $53 billion. MIT has an endowment of about $28 billion. These are the private universities. The state universities like University of Texas Systems have endowment of $42 billion. The Canadian University, University of Toronto, where the funding model is different, still has between $3.2 and $3.5 billion of funding. All these North American universities are leaders in research and startup companies creating wealth for the country as well as for themselves. In contrast to this, UET endowment is not even in millions of dollars. The endowments are generally the efforts of the alumni groups of the universities. So we have our work cut out for us and we have plenty of examples to follow. University's ranking has continued to improve over the past few years. In the latest QS World University's ranking, UT Lahore is ranked at 376th in engineering and technology in the world, and five of its programs have been ranked in the top 500. Among Asian universities, the university's percentile ranking has improved to 73. These are the highest rankings that the university has ever achieved considering the university is ranked every year. UT Lahore is the number one public sector university of engineering and technology in the country and is the only public sector UET that is consistently ranked among the top 1,000 in the world, top 200 in Asia and top five in the country. The research profile of the university keeps improving with every passing year. The number of research publications and competitive research grants continue to rise with consistency and are at historic high currently. Last year, the university teachers won two CPEC research grants and AGC awarded China Study Center to UET Lahore after a competitive process. Our alma mater was also honored with UNESCO International Institute of Online Education's rotating presidency for the year 2021. The university plans to establish new departments and offer new academic programs whose graduates will help contribute to techno-economic development of the country as well as support Industry 4.0. With this in mind, the university intends to offer undergraduate and graduate programs in data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, robotics, occupational health and safety, energy systems engineering, food engineering, bioinformatics, information security, entrepreneurship, biotechnology, and process system engineering in the near future. 
these are defining moments in the 100 year history of this great institution with a glorious past with cutting edge research being carried out in almost all areas of engineering and natural sciences enhanced linkages with industry and international universities continued increase in competitive research grants and tuition free phd for full time students the university is in on track to become the best in the country and one of the finest in the world inshallah